We're doing a gallery wall today, so let's get going. Sean's friend Chanel first reached out to me um, during the height of the pandemic saying, hey girl, watch your videos, love them, can you help me with my space? And I said, oh, absolutely. She sent me a photo, I looked at the photo, gave her some suggestions, drew out a little mock over the photo that she gave me. I'll be sure to insert that here. <laughs> and from there she said, okay, well what can I start doing on my own? And I said, well, paint is always the cheapest and easiest way to start transforming your space. You're stuck inside, you got nothing to do, just go get some paint. So that's exactly what she did. She went and got some charcoal paint and added this circle to the wall behind her television to just give that wall a little more oomph, give it a little more visual interest. And she loves the way the circle turned out. I love the way the circle came out. I gave her the same tips that I used for myself when we created the arch in our little um, hallway. I'll be sure to insert the video where we did that in case you're interested in doing some geometric shapes on your wall insert that here so from there the pandemic continued <laughs> and we had plans we talked about a coffee table we talked about lighting um, and then I got pregnant and let's be honest your girl lost her <laughs> she lost her mind but then it came back and Chanel's like well I want to do a gallery wall and I'm like okay 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 we'll do a gallery wall let's come over and we'll show you how to go through it and we'll use this opportunity to share with our viewers how we come up with our gallery walls i say we i mean me sean does the nailing and that part but <laughs> the like layout and stuff is me so in this video we're going to chanel's and we're doing chanel's gallery wall that was just a little background let's go Hello and welcome back. We have a special guest. Hey guys. This is Chanel. She has invited us over to her apartment because today we are tackling this gallery wall. Yes. Chanel, how much art have you collected for this wall? I lost count. There's some <laughs> things that aren't even framed and I just have given up on them that they just probably won't make it. Yeah. So. We're gonna work with what we have and we have a lot to work with. Yeah. yeah. It's like a mix of different things that I like and I just don't know how to put it together to yes. make it cohesive. Yes, and Pretty. that's why we're here. Yes. I'm very excited. Thank you all know my favorite thing to do is some hang some art on the wall. So <laughs> this is right up my alley. So it's kind of gonna be a share with you about Chanel's art, a share with you on how you can create an eclectic looking gallery wall in your space and just the process that we use to make sure that you don't go into the wall with a bunch of holes or make too many mistakes and get your spacing and everything right. Also for New York City, I know these walls, okay? It's about to be an experience, yeah. all right? So let's jump right on in. Going through some of my art, I feel like I'm naturally all over the place, so that's really reflective of the pieces down here. If I see something, I like it, I just get it. So, I mean, this is uh, actually funny story behind this. My friend Dwayne Lichen, he's a photographer, and he this is a, um image that he captured in Cuba, which I went to a few years ago, which is amazing. This is like my family right here. Sean is over here. Hey, Sean. So this is my mom and my sisters for my mom's 50th birthday. And then this is me and like my best friends uh, just out at a baby shower, but you know, such a great picture. Actually at Ode to Babel, Black Ode. This actually is a Bebe's Kids poster that I stole from my friend Punch. He does not know I have it, but he will once he sees this video. Uh, the This is a picture of my good friends, best friends, Brie and Ayana. Uh, they, um, another black owned business, The Brownies, a lifestyle group supporting black women and lifestyle and health and wellness and also known to throw a really amazing parties when we can go back outside. This was actually a recent gift from my other best friend, Jamal. Uh, he gifted me um, Stevie Wonder's song in the key of life and this is actually an original with the song sheet and lyrics lyric book like everything I recently was on the website um, black market which is an amazing um, store here in Brooklyn um, and they've been doing a lot of like online things 
you know, obviously COVID, a lot of places are closed. And when I was, you know, just looking around, not thinking I was gonna purchase anything, I found this crest of Clark College. Um, so I attended Clark Atlanta University, and um, just a little history lesson, um, Clark Atlanta University didn't become an institution until 1988. Oh my God, I hope I'm right. <laughs> um, but uh, before that, it was Clark College and Atlanta University, and they came together to form Clark Atlanta University. So this is a original Clark College crest. Okay, I like to start with laying everything out. Having different orientations to your art is very important when creating a gallery wall. You wanna make sure that everything feels balanced from between the vertical and the horizontal. And I like to lay it all out because then the floor becomes a wall. So we can kind of start playing with positions and adding in those non-art elements to see how everything can fit on the wall. This is the perfect time to play because you're just on the floor, there's no commitment. See how your different art balances each other. In Chanel's case, she had a lot of faceless um, like um, digital art, and I just wanted to make sure that those were spread around to like provide a little bit of balance. Once you kind of have a layout, you wanna make sure you take a picture of it, use your phone, and then you want to trace all of your art and label it using some craft paper. I've seen people use newspaper for this as well, but I think the craft paper is cleaner and allows you to visualize what you're doing better. So then you're gonna take your picture that you took of your floor layout and transfer that with your craft paper to the wall. This is when you can decide how you want the pieces to be spaced. I never really measure the space between um, photos. I just like to go with what feels good because sometimes measuring things with your eye, making sure everything is you know two inches apart, doesn't look good to the eye. So this is all about eyeballing and seeing what feels good. Okay, so we have a layout in mind. We've taken all of our prints or pictures, photographs, artwork. We've traced them all out onto brown paper and hung them on the wall. Chanel, how do you feel about our placement here? I feel really excited about it. Yeah. I mean, you did that cool little floor technique and yeah. then we did this. So yeah, I think it's going to be exciting. Yeah. I'm I'm really excited. Okay, Otherwise, good. Otherwise, things have just been sitting here for the right. rest. Of and we were talking about like color and uh, frame color and textures and all of that. And I was saying to Chanel that I think when spaces are a true reflection of you, like your artwork doesn't have to be all blue or all one type of thing, all photographs of real people or all illustrations or all whatever. Like whatever you're collecting, if you like it, just put it on the wall. So that's how we attack gallery walls. Um, we also love non-art. Non-art art is like, that really makes a space yeah. get that extra like pop in there. So, and I love that plaque. The story behind that is so good. So we're gonna get some, um, you know, Camastra Queen, hello. I would like a crown in um, post, please. We're gonna get some command strips. We also have some picture hanging hardware and we're gonna start putting this stuff on the wall with our level because Sean hung these. <laughs> and I know that y'all can see that they up there like this. <laughs> I, I thought he was going with so, somewhere with it. We pulled, we brought a level. At least it's consistent. So I know I've called myself the command strip queen but I wanted to share with you guys why these are so great. So they actually like Velcro together. They come if you buy the big pack in this set of three, but you need two, you press them together. Wait, can I get Chanel yeah. uh, <laughs> doing yeah. what you're <laughs> get, get her. So she's like so confused. Yep, so you press it to like line it up as good as you can, press it together, and that's like, it's not, this is it. It's not moving. It's not? It's not moving. Okay. That's it. So this one is pretty light and I would say two would be fine. But once you place them, don't try to pick it up and then move, move it there. somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. So like at, that is like, this is what we'll say on the wall. Where would you put the second one? Like, I would put the second one over here. Oh, but not here? Mm -mm. Oh. 
<laughs> it honestly doesn't matter. It's like if you, it's imitating this, right? So you would, I would hang it, yes. That's how I would do it. All right, tell us. You're in my face, ain't you? Tell us what you're doing, Sean. <laughs> All right. So there's a whole bunch of uh, pictures that need fr- that need nails. So right, what so we, we do is we measure across. Oh. And if I can figure out where the nail part is, and then we see that it's ten and a half there. And then you want to measure from where the tension will be. So it's like two inches, so ten and a half by two. Then we go into the outline we made, and we mark ten and a half. Sorry, first we mark down two. Right, so two is like right here and then you come across and then uh, can I help her? Can I hold no, her? No, I got it, I got it. And ten and a half is like right here. So I got it. I got it right there. Perfect. Why don't you just still draw the cross? A little, little thing with your hair. Okay. Is it this line? That's or the is first it this? one. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Okay. All right, and then now you know where this point is, and it's right here. So this is where you're gonna put your nail. Okay. But we're using picture hanging hardware. We're using we're using picture hanging hardware, <laughs> and we are going to use that picture hanging hardware to put a nail there. Well, we're going to put the hook there. We're going to put the hook there. <laughs> okay. So this you want here. So we're making sure that the hook part of the toolkit, I mean, of the hardware. Is, you, know? you want to make sure that the hook part of the hardware <laughs> yes. is where your measurement was. Remember we did this one? So that wants to be in the middle. And then you just draw that in. Ah! You should take the paper down. Oh yeah, I got then, then you take the paper down. <laughs> now, you gotta find a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's, and then straighten it. And then you grab your leveler. Level. You grab your level, you put it across. And you just adjust, and I got it perfect, though. <laughs> huh? Look at that. Boom. First piece of art. Pe- fan. First piece of art on the wash. Now, how you feel? I feel good. It, I think when you moved it, it got a little crooked, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> what you said before? With All the right, pencil. so you know I got my pencil right here, so I'm about to do some work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So you climb up here. But you don't need that. You need to mark the paper. Mark the tops and the sides of the paper. Because then you're going to take the paper down. You just got to remind your handyman. You know what I'm saying? I was too excited about the pencil wire. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess I don't need this. So now you mark the edges of your paper. And even though it's crooked, it's still a kind of a guideline. Yes. You mark it here, and you mark it up here. They don't have to be such aggressive uh, marks. This is a really good pencil. It's <laughs> letting go of a lot of lead. You know. <laughs> and then... You can take your paper down. You can take your paper down. <laughs> Let's see those marks there. Uh, this is another mark. And these two marks are where you want to be. And then, Chanel, you're going to just hold the level on top so that when he actually sticks it to the wall, it goes level. Yeah, you want to get it on. Hold on. Can you hold that corner? I don't remember where the command strips are on this one. They're across the top and on the bottom. Great job, Sean. Thank you. And really, now it's about finding your groove. Find your groove and just move across the wall. (laughs) Put on some good tunes. We were listening to some good tunes and get her done.
All right, so we have confined Chanel to her room for much of this process because we wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise. So it is time, me and my hammer, <laughs> to reveal this to Chanel. So Chanel, come on out, girlfriend. Tell us what you think. We're done. We're done. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so good. Yes, and we left room for the one, the yes, photograph of yourself that's little... coming. Project. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I messed up my own outfit. That's okay. Yeah.